We've had a tweet come in, actually, uh, for you, Bill, from an Everton fan and from an Arsenal fans as well, saying how frustrating was it that you had to get rid of Arteta and, and what have Arsenal bought in a player? It was painful because uh, I loved Mikel, still do. Got a text from him yesterday saying, well done. Um, and it, 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 it must be more perf painful for David, though, and because the one thing I've learned through my friendship with David is that, you know, you build up a squad together. You build up a squad of lads you work on, you bring through. And, you know, David had brought Mikel through from not the most successful career thus far. He'd always had ability. But he became an Everton absolute idol. As was proved, wasn't it, David, when they came yeah. back 10 days yeah. ago and he got an ovation. Mm -hmm. And so, for me, but, as has been widely reported, he was really, really anxious to go. He'd, uh, he decided... Was that disappointing? That he... uh, Would you understand it? Yeah, well, disappointing, I understand. I think David's the best to talk about players and that. I mean, yeah, yeah, it, it, it was hugely disappointing and hugely understandable and uh, he, he's always got a place in Evertonian Tarts and I mean that, a massive place in Evertonian Tarts and maybe one day. The, se the season before, you know, we, you know, there was cops after Mikel. I've got to say the chairman you know, pushed the boat out massively. I said, look, you've got to keep Mikel Arteta. We've got to keep him. It was to give us our best chance of being in the Champions League, I felt. And we kept him. Didn't quite work. And there was another opportunity for Mikel come along to go to Arsenal. And because of that, it was right. No, it was the right time for Mikel. But, uh, you know, we took him from Sociedad, Mikel, where he wasn't really in and out. I watched him at Rangers a lot. He, you know, he, you know he, he had been round a little bit and he came. And he took a wee while to settle at our place as well. But, you know, yeah. he'd done brilliant for us. And he, he was part of that sort of second phase, which yeah. I talked about, our yeah. development. We wanted to change the style a little bit, the level of player we're bringing in, let them develop as well. And he was part of, of, of some really good Everton teams. And, uh, you know, it was a pleasure to work with him. Did he shake your hand when you left? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Mikel was, Mikel was, there was no problem. But uh, yeah, He, phoned, he phoned me at, oh, must have been 20 past one in the morning, because... The real sadness was it happened so late, wasn't it? Yeah. It, we, right, we had yeah, no yeah, time yeah, at all yeah, yeah. to do anything. Mm -hmm. It happened like, I think, about eight o'clock in the evening, and uh, that was what we didn't enjoy. Um, but he phoned me about 20 past one, um, and he was devastated. Happy to be going to Arsenal, but devastated.